Hi there, thanks for watching another episode of Nadia TV. I'm so excited you are here with me today. And I wanted to talk to you about your stomach acid today. So, you know, a lot of people think that um, they have high stomach acid and a lot of people are really worried about actually um, having too much of it, right? And um, that's something that we are told and oftentimes we think if we have heartburn, it means a st uh, high stomach acid. And um, if you go to a doctor and you have heartburn, you will end up on one of the um, drugs that lower your stomach acidity. And that's just a common thing and everybody kind of knows a little bit about it but don't really pay much attention to it. But there's so much to our stomach and our stomach acidity. I'm not gonna go too deep into that. Um, I invite you to join me on my one of my upcoming webinars to learn more about it. But in general, when you have a low stomach acid or when you're lowering your stomach acid, taking those drugs, you are actually not absorbing a lot of your minerals. So you may be low in iron, you may be low in calcium, you may be low in so many essential nutrients and minerals and that you cannot absorb because your stomach acid is now too low. So it's actually kind of surprising how many people have a low stomach acid as opposed to high stomach acid. A lot of people think that they have high stomach acid or they don't think of it at all. But actually more of us than not have a low stomach acid. And usually the older we get, the lower our stomach acid is getting. So that's something to know about. And the thing is, we really need the stomach acid. Well, first of all, stomach acid is our first line of defense, meaning that if we do eat something that has a, a bacteria in it, let's say E. coli, technically, if we have the correct amount of stomach acid, the bacteria should not be able to go any further because this is our first line of defense. This is the only organ in our body that has to be extremely, extremely acidic. So this is very important for us to have this very high acidity in our stomach. And I'm not telling you that you should uh, disregard your heartburns and not pay attention to it. Uh, what I'm telling you is that you need to look into other symptoms and you also need to see what kind of foods bring up the heartburn. Because the heartburn can also be a sign of low stomach acid and not just a high stomach acid because sometimes the symptoms are similar. So I would really want you to look into that and think about your stomach acid and your acidity. And if you wanna learn more, please join me on one of my upcoming webinars. Um, you'll see the links below. I'll be so happy to see you there. I hope this video was helpful for you. And if it was, please give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. And I'll see you soon, guys. Bye.